Since the start of the conflict in Ukraine, the specter of Russian missile attacks has loomed large. While hypersonic missiles like the Kinzel grab headlines, it is the KH-22, a seemingly less glamorous behemoth, that has Ukrainian air defenses truly worried. Back in 2000, Ukraine handed over 386 KH-22 missiles to Russia as part of a repayment for gas debt. Throughout the full-scale invasion, Russian forces have launched approximately 300 KH-22 missiles at Ukraine. And up until now, none of these missiles have been intercepted or brought down by Ukrainian air defense forces. The Ukrainian Air Force spokesperson Yuri Ignat openly admitted this fact, emphasizing the serious danger posed by KH-22 missiles to Ukraine. In its coverage last December, Moscow's media TASS reported that Ignat highlighted the technical hurdles posed by the KH-22 missile, underlining the need for specialized means of interception. The missile's speed and trajectory pose a significant challenge for traditional air defense systems. Ignat specifically noted the Patriot air defense systems as potentially effective against the KH-22, but their success in the Ukrainian context remains uncertain. Despite receiving Western support in the form of SAMP-T, Patriot, Iris-T, NASAMS, and Krotal air defense systems, Ukrainian authorities argue that the provided systems are inadequate to counter the KH-22 threat. What makes this missile particularly challenging to defeat, and why this Cold War relic gives Ukraine more chills than the hypersonic Kinzhal? For a more thorough understanding, let's briefly examine the KH-22 and its evolution into the KH-32. The KH-22 missile, with its origins in the early 1960s, marked a significant milestone in Soviet missile technology. Developed to penetrate adversary air defenses, the KH-22 aimed to destroy large ships, military bases, aircraft carriers, power plants, and bridges. This Cold War-era projectile utilized a ballistic trajectory, making interception challenging for air defense systems. In 2016, the KH-22 saw a transformative evolution with the introduction of its successor, the KH-32. This updated variant retained the physical characteristics of its predecessor, but incorporated crucial enhancements. The KH-32 featured a conventional warhead, an improved rocket motor, and a multi-frequency radar imaging terminal seeker. These upgrades were designed to address the limitations of the KH-22, such as susceptibility to radar jamming and a fixed-frequency radar seeker. The KH-32's improved capabilities extended its range and versatility, allowing it to be carried by the Tu-22M3 supersonic bomber, it navigates through the air at supersonic speeds, reaching Mach 4.6 at high altitudes. It can employ two approaches, a high altitude dive with a near vertical terminal phase or a low altitude skimming strategy. Both present daunting challenges for Ukrainian air defenses. The high altitude approach grants the missile the element of surprise plummeting onto the target from an unexpected angle. The low altitude option, while offering less vertical advantage, minimizes its time within the engagement envelope of most air defense systems. Unlike ballistic missiles, the KH-32 flies a complex multi-phase trajectory. It climbs initially, reaching cruising altitude, then flies level before diving steeply towards its target. This unpredictable path further confounds radar systems, making it difficult to track and intercept. Adding to the KH-32's lethality is its reported ability to retarget in midair. Imagine a missile hurtling towards its designated target when suddenly, intelligence reveals a high-value opportunity, like a newly discovered enemy air defense system. The KH-32, according to reports, can adjust its course and engage the new target, maximizing its destructive potential. 
But perhaps the most unsettling aspect of the KH-32 is its reported ability to communicate with other missiles mid-flight. Imagine a pack of wolves strategizing on the hunt. One missile activates its radar, pinpointing the target and drawing the attention of enemy air defenses. While it becomes the hunted, the other missiles remain silent, undetected until the opportune moment. If the targeted missile falls, other steps up, relaying the critical information and completing the mission. This hunter-killer tactic presents a nightmare scenario for air defense operators forced to contend with multiple threats emerging from unpredictable directions. To date, Russia has employed the KH-47M2 Kinzhal and KH-22 missiles for targeting fortified installations, including underground storage depots and command centers. The KH-47 is the weapon of choice for precise strikes against critical targets like decision-making centers, and the KH-22, with its larger warhead, is the preferred option for engaging broader targets such as fuel and ammunition depots. While the KH-32 shares the same objective as the hypersonic Kinzels, evading adversary air defense systems, it presents a different set of challenges. Both missiles function as aerodynamic targets rather than ballistic ones, with their speeds and altitudes surpassing the engagement capabilities of NATO air defense systems in Ukraine, including the Patriot systems. Despite being smaller and lighter, the Kinzels have a longer range due to their hypersonic speeds and maneuverability. Engaging both KH-32 and Kinzhal missiles proves to be a challenging task due to their flight characteristics that exceed the capabilities of air defense systems. While claims of downing Kinzhals by Ukraine may be met with skepticism, attempts at engagement are still possible. The Ukrainian Air Force claimed to have successfully intercepted and shot down all 10 KH-47M2 Kinzhal hypersonic missiles launched from MiG-31K aircraft during a large-scale aerial attack on January 2, 2024. The attack targeted military, industrial, civilian, and critical infrastructure locations, with the main focus on Ukraine's capital. The warhead of one KH-47M missile was rendered safe by the Explosive Ordnance Disposal Unit of Ukraine's State Emergency Service, the DSNC stationed in Shevchenkivsky, Kiev. However, the KH-32 poses a more substantial challenge. This missile is said to withstand hits from both air-to-air -air missiles and 20mm rotary cannons, making it completely immune to enemy interceptors and air defense systems. Despite receiving advanced weaponry from the United States, Ukraine has been unable to incapacitate any Russian KH-22 or KH-32 missiles. With Ukrainian authorities openly acknowledging the sophistication of these missile threats, the question arises, will Russia continue to launch more of these missiles in future attacks? Drop your thoughts in the comment below and thanks for watching.